to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Laura. I'm a personal trainer, online fitness coach, nutritionist, and amateur bikini competitor. Um, and if you're not new here, welcome back. As you can probably tell from the title of this video, I have decided to continue bulking slash gain tain. So I decided to 86 my mini cut idea. Um, also, I've been sick for the past like few days, so that's why my voice sounds like this. Um, so yeah, the reason that I decided to continue bulking slash gain taining, whatever this is, uh, is because like I said in my last video, I ended up putting on a pound, 1.3 pounds of muscle and I'm still at 18% body fat. So my goal is to put on two or three more pounds of muscle while maintaining a below 20% body fat. If I can do that, then I'm going to continue putting on muscle. Um, and then I will cut once I get to my goal of like 62 to 63 pounds of muscle so that when I cut, I will be at like 60 pounds of muscle because you lose muscle when you cut, unfortunately. So that's what we're doing. So I basically just restructured my macros. So I'm still pretty high carb. Um, I just lowered my carbs by like 30 grams and gave myself more fats. Um, so before I was doing, on my high carb days, I was doing 300 grams of carbs, 25 fat and like 160 protein or whatever. Now on my high carb days, I'm doing 265 carb, uh, 50 fat and 140 protein. So just giving myself more fats because I feel like fats are what fill me up. Like I, I feel like the more carbs I eat, the hungrier I get. So I was literally hungrier on my 300 grams of carbs day than I was on my 200 grams of carbs day. So yeah, I wanna like feel more satiated. Um, and honestly, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know if there's a difference between like 30 grams of carbs in terms of like how heavy I can lift. Maybe there is, we'll see. Maybe I messed myself up and I'm not gonna put on any muscle this month, but that's just a decision I decided to make. Um, so yeah, and obviously disclaimer, don't follow my macros. They're for me, not for you. Um, so yeah, I did a check-in with myself um, on Wednesday. I'll put pictures here. Um, I weighed in at 130.6, I believe, or 130.4, something like that, um, which is pretty crazy because even though I feel fat every day, um, I like looking at pictures, I am like leaner at this weight than I've ever been. So like the last time I was 130 pounds, I didn't have this much muscle. So I looked fatter, even though that's not how I feel every day, but it's okay, it's something I'm working with. Um, yeah, cardio is at five times a week, 30 minutes, um, and just kind of steady state. Um, what else? Oh, well, I kind of started a new diet, sort of. Um, so I was having digestive issues, obviously, as you guys know, if you've been on this channel for long enough, you know that I have IBS. And I was like, nothing is working. I am just feeling bloated and gassy all the time. So I decided to do some research on the low FODMAP diet, um, which I am not gonna be able to explain to you guys what exactly it is, but basically it's a diet that people go on when they're having IBS related issues. Um, it's not supposed to be a long-term diet. It is uh, meant to be like kind of like three-ish months, I think. Um, so in the first phase, you just eliminate like foods that have high FODMAPs, which FODMAPs is like fermented oligo dye, 
I'm going to I'm going to just put it down here so that you guys can read it cuz I don't remember. Um but uh it's basically foods that are known to kind of not digest well. So unfortunately, a lot of them are high in fiber, which I eat a very high fiber diet because I eat mostly plant-based. So um foods like broccoli and cauliflower, beans, um, what else? Garlic, onion, um, a lot of fruits, apples, I think bananas. So I've tried to eliminate all of those. Um, this past week I've been doing it like slowly. I didn't do it like cold turkey um, just because I don't know. It, it was just hard. I had like a lot of stuff that was going to go bad in the fridge that I had to kind of eat. Um, so yeah, but I have been feeling better actually. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep doing this for the next few weeks and then uh, I'll start the like reintroduction phase where I'll like reintroduce broccoli and then like see how I feel and then reintroduce cauliflower and like kind of just like go slowly based on that. Um, so yeah, I will probably do a what I eat in a day on a low FODMAP diet for you guys. But first, exciting news. I got a package from Fonka. It's a uh, athletic sportswear company. Um, I got some leggings, so I'm going to try them on, see how they feel, see how they look, even though she a little thick right now. Um, and then we're going to catch a workout in these and see if they pass the leg day leggings test. Wait, oh my God. I just opened and like how cute they come in like a little like reusable bag. What? Like when since when do leggings come in a reusable bag that is so cute like i could use this bag like for my gym equipment in it okay oh my god oh the material wait sorry hold on wait stop they're actually so cute okay these are the um these are the ones with the flare pants. They're like flare leggings because I've been seeing so many girls wearing flare leggings at the gym. And now I'm like, I didn't save any of my flare leggings from when I was 12, you know, because those went out of style. But now they're back in style and I'm so happy. And look how cute the little, the little logo is in purple. Pockets because they're a must. Wait. No, actually, I'm, I can't, I'm gonna try these on right now. So these are the Lift and Curve Flare Leggings. And can we just take a moment? Like, I'm obsessed. Okay, these are a size small. The tummy control, yes, A plus, we need that, especially because we're getting thick over here. The pockets are my favorite part probably because they're big enough to like, actually be functional and like put my phone in. I hate it when leggings have like the tiny pockets that are useless and you can't even like put anything in them. So like, look, it like fits my whole hand. Perfect. Also, I don't know what this material is, but there's some super comfy, like, I don't know, material right here that just feels like extra supportive. Um, there's also this slit at the bottom. So I feel like these can like double as like going out pants because when I go out and I wanna be comfy, I like to wear like flare pants that like go cute with like a crop top, you know what I mean? So like these are a double whammy. They are workout pants and going out pants. This is a win. Okay, so these are the Lift and Curve regular leggings. I got these also in a size small and in the color tan. First of all, they had so many color options, but you know me, I'm an earth tony girl. So again, the tummy control is like a thousand. Um, we got this nice pattern, which 
I actually love, I'm not one to buy leggings that have like patterns on them, but I think this is so like subtle and like elegant and sleek and I just love them. Um, so we are gonna be doing a leg day in these pants and we are gonna see how they stack up, how uh, comfy and functional they are. Okay, y'all, these Fonka leggings are my new jam. So I'm like, honestly, really impressed with the quality. Um, so if you guys wanna score yourself a pair, go use my code LBD12. I will link uh, Fonka's website uh, with my discount code down below in the comments and let me know if you end up ordering from them uh, and if you like them, what you think, what colors you get. Um, I'm honestly, next time I'm gonna be more, uh, what's the word, like exploratory with the colors. I'm gonna, I'm gonna branch out of my comfort zone. I'm gonna get like a wild blue or like lime green because when I see them on girls in the gym, I'm like, oh, that's so cute. But like, I always just get like brown, which I love, but next time definitely getting like a really spicy blue or something. Um, so yeah, use my code LBD12. Everything is linked down below. And thank you so much if you use my code. Hello, YouTube. I am about to go do my leg day tonight um, to show you guys, but I just got back from lunch with a friend and uh, we're also like planning on like some content that we're gonna do together because she's also a personal trainer. Um, so stay tuned for that. But just have to be like 100% transparent. I messed up. Um, I, you know, I've been trying to do this like low FODMAP diet and I kind of low key forgot that I was doing it when we went to lunch together because what did I get? An avocado pizza. What did it have on it? Hummus, avocado, um, quinoa, and plant-based cheese. And what are the things I'm not supposed to have on a low FODMAP diet? Avocado, I think quinoa is okay. Plant-based cheese, definitely not. And definitely not hummus. So I'm kind of paying for it, feeling bloated, but I told myself this morning when I woke up at 4 a.m. and had six hours of clients that I was going to do, nay, seven hours of clients that no matter what, no matter how tired I was, I was gonna do my leg day today because I'm wearing my Fonka leggings. So, so comfy by the way. Like usually by the end of a long day of clients, I'm like, ah, oh, get me out of these leggings. Cause like they're tight, you know, they're just like sweaty and gross and not these. Honestly, these are killing it. Um, so, yeah, I'm paying for it because I'm bloated. And also it could be because I've been on antibiotics for literally like a month now. I mean, I was on antibiotics for three weeks for my toe condition. And now that I had like a cold slash bronchitis, I'm on antibiotics again for that. Um, and these will go until probably next week. So that'll be like five straight weeks that I'll be on antibiotics. So not really giving my gut any time to like rest, but that's why it's super important that I kind of like adhere to the low FODMAP diet. But today I was not, not a good girl, not adherent to it. Um, so yeah, I will catch you guys later for leg day.